Welcome back to Therapy Thursday. The new standard of care for people with significant shoulder injuries that they might have seen a surgeon for is they'll typically tell you go or try three or four months of conservative care primarily through exercises to see if you can get better on your own and then come back to them. Oftentimes after a significant shoulder injury, whether it be a full thickness cuff tear or something similar, is a complete lack of range of motion or at least extremely limited range. It becomes painful to be able to move your arm because the muscles that move it are the ones that are injured. So today we're going to show you three exercises or paths to regain range of motion of your shoulder when it's injured. The first one we've shown you before, you can grab something like a hockey stick or a golf club or a broom handle. You're going to put your injured arm, in this case the right, on the butt end of it. You're going to use your good arm to move your right arm. So the right arm is going to be dead weight. I'm using my good arm and I'm just pushing up high enough until I feel that discomfort and allowing it to come down. So I'll just do repetitive motions like so. A second exercise that a lot of people have been given that we have not had great success with is where you rope something over top of a shower curtain. And then you're meant to use a pulley system. The lack of gliding makes it quite painful on the way down for people typically. So we're gonna show you a little bit of a different way to get that same type of range. You're gonna lift your arm up as high as you can. Let's say I'm limited to here so I could use a kitchen counter or something similar. My arm is again gonna be dead weight, but this time I'm gonna use my leg strength to be able to create that shoulder flexion on the way up. So I'm gonna take a kneel, coming as high as my shoulder will allow me before pain, and then I'm gonna stand back up. So I'm getting the same type of repetitions, again with dead weight through my shoulder, and your body will really like that movement as long as it's non-painful. The third way is very similar. I'm gonna be on both knees this time. I'll be able to alter the amount of weight that I place on my right arm. And from here, I'm gonna rock back into a child's pose position. Again, obtaining that shoulder flexion in a pain-free manner where it's not gonna be utilizing my muscles. Those are three different methods to regain some shoulder mobility post-injury. Try them out the next time that you have a significantly injured shoulder and we'll see you next week on Therapy Thursday.